Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Badger Wild, and today we're going to talk about mortar and pedestals. Specifically, how to make a better looking mortar and pedestal station. Something that looks like it's all one piece and will turn heads from the casual get friends that you have over to your base to the raiders that come in and take a look and be like, oh wow, that's just, that is the coolest, most aesthetic looking thing we've ever seen. And this has no actual real purpose. It's not really a trick or a hack. It's just something I do for aesthetic purposes. It keeps all my mortar and pedestals. <clears throat> As you can see right here, this is how we normally put mortar and pedestals down in the game. Some people will just set them right down on the ground. And it, it's kind of odd when you're going in here and you see all these crafting stations and you've got this crafting station right here. That's just... <laughs> it's like, what, what do you do all day? You sit down here on your butt with your legs crossed, pounding away at it. No, we want to stand. We want to do something good. So what I normally do is something similar to this. Now, how you do this is you've got four mortar and pedestal stations right here set on top of a nice little table. And I'll show you how I do this real quick. I know, it's beautiful, doesn't it? Almost, almost brings a tear to your eye. Now, first off, you're going to need a... Uh, let's, let's go through here. Because you're going to need, in your engrams unlocked, wooden chair and then wooden table. Now, wooden table, you can see over to the right, to the right here, the wooden table requires 100 wood and 12 regular metal ore, not ingots ore. That's a big, big kicker with that one, because this is one of the few items in the game, I think besides the mantis saddle, that requires just straight metal ore and not metal or not refined metal. So you don't want to refine your metal. You want to hang on to about 12 metal ingots, make your little wooden table. Now, what I do is I get my wooden table in. And I try to figure out how close I can take it to that wall. And then I peel it back just a tad. Get right almost up there. Like so. That way it is just in this one little reinforcement right here. So it's like almost straight up against that wall. You can almost see it. And it's nicely raining outside. Wonderful. So the next thing we're going to put on is our mortar and pedestals. Now, for the mortar and pedestals, I usually try to take them over as far as I can on the table. And just simply place one and try to keep your lower... You see at the bottom of the mortar and pedestal where that leather strip is, it's going to go on the bottom. Try to keep that about even with that one plank of wood. In between those two, set it up one. Get in there, try to get it as close as possible. And two. And can we get three? Up a bit. Three. And we will have just enough room if you've done this to place. Number four, and there you go. You have a very nice aesthetic looking uh, mortar and pedestal crafting station where you can craft all sorts of stuff. And th this, this is really a cool way of doing it because instead of sitting up over the top of this crap and like going over here and over there and having to move and walk around, you can literally just walk up to these and something about putting this up higher actually makes it easier to access them. It's you're, You can access them much quicker. So like right here, you can put your flint and your stone in this mortar and pedestal. And when it gets done there, you can just throw it over into this one with some charcoal, start adding charcoal to this one while this one's setting up your spark powder. Throw your spark powder over here, refining out some gum powder. For these over here, you could put uh, your chitin and your keratin in, make your narcotics in this one. It just, it just works really well. It's a nice table. It's a nice little do-it-yourself kind of crafting station you can do by yourself. And, and when you have friends over to your server or your game, or say you're like, you're participating, you got new guys coming in, like your friend just got Ark, and he comes in, he's like, yeah, I've seen all kinds of cool videos. Holy crap, what kind of crafting station is this? And you can tell him it's not a crafting station, I made it myself. So you have, you have all this really cool stuff you can get going. Now there is a bit of a, a lift with this, I'm going to warn you, but... As long as you're up here, you barely even notice it. And also, when these raiders bust in, sometimes I have I have actually had this happen. I've had raiders come in. They've seen some of the stuff that I do on my bases, and then sometimes they're like, "Dude, Badger, do you, do you want to do you want to join our tribe?" Sometimes I want you to join because you can make really cool stuff and make them they, makes them feel better. So something like this makes it feel much more professional. But anyway, as always, this is Badger Wild. 
This is my unique mortar and pedestal station, which will give you all sorts of goodies. Well, I say it will give you all sorts of goodies. It's just a way of managing all your mortar and pedestals and getting all four of them up and, and set up in this stationary position. And if you want, you can go even further. You can add another table here and, and expand it. But uh, as always, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. It helps me make more of this awesome content and keeps me going at it. As always, it's not how hard you play the arc also. It's how smart you play the arc. If you play the arc smart enough, people think you're a freaking genius sometimes. I'm Badger Wild. I will see you guys next time.